Hi everyone, my name is Glenn Schneckenberger. I'm with Tilbury Chrysler. Today it's December the 11th, just getting really close to Christmas. I just want to take a time, shoot a video on the Chevrolet's, Chevrolet Bolt. This is a 2012, it's got about 72,000 kilometers on it. We took it in on trade and I thought this was a really interesting car to take a look at. Uh, I took it out for a test drive, what a smooth ride. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that in a little bit. Uh, but I want to take time and just kind of show you the car. So I'm going to first talk about the engine. Uh, it has obviously a, a double source of power. Uh, you have the battery operated. Uh, it's a 60, 63 kilowatt uh, generator that generates the power to move this vehicle forward. It also comes with an inline four. This is a 1.4 liter inline four gasoline engine. So it's a dual source. Uh, basically what happens, it'll start off on electrical power. When you get up to certain speeds, the gas, the gas engine will kick in to get to the full acceleration but 90% of the time it'll run on, on the, uh, the electrical power. Uh, it regenerates itself during braking, which is interesting, uh, but it also you plug it in at night and it'll recharge itself. You can do either a four hour charge or you can do a full 10 hour charge. On the front of the vehicle here, you'll see that the, the vehicle has the front projector headlights, nice and bright at night, so you'll get nice clear vision. You've got front sensors that are in the front bumper here. Uh, so when you're getting close to an object out front, you'll be able to sense it. Uh, you know, less, less front bumper dings and stuff like that. It's got a nice sleek aerodynamic uh, shape to it. And the whole idea behind that is that it just glides through the, through the air uh, and gets best fuel economy and electrical power economy as well. Continuing on over to the side here, you'll notice that it's got 17 inch uh, chrome rims. Very nice looking, 17 inch tires. Uh, four wheel anti-lock disc brakes all the way around. You'll see the, the underneath the volt sign here, that's the, uh, that's the cap that's covering up the electrical power. So basically you just pop it from inside and that's where you would plug it in at night and get your four or ten hour charge on that. On the back end you'll notice it's a, it's a drop off, it's a blunt back. You got backup sensors as well. So again when you're, when you're parallel parking. It's a hatchback style so once you open up you look inside four passenger uh, vehicle. You got center console in between the, the back passengers. Really cool underneath here. This is where the power source is, this is the back battery, it's, it's located underneath here. You've got a spare tire pump, so you've got the pump for your tire. Uh, you've got an extra charger as well back here, and a little bit of storage in the back. These vehicles are equipped with uh, remote entry, so basically when you're walking towards the car, you don't have to have your keys in your hand to unlock and lock the door, you just have to hit the button. It gets easy access, just it's all about convenience when you're walking towards the car. On this side of the vehicle, you also have the rear cap for, for filling up the gas. Uh, just like the normal vehicles do. So folks, once I get inside, this vehicle's really, really cool. It's space age almost. It's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I'm gonna start it up so you'll hear it start up. It almost just winds up like the old Jefferson thing. So down in here, it's, it's a neat design. You're in kind of a cockpit style. The, your shifter's here to put into, into park and reverse and everything. Um, you've got an electric parking brake. You've got your lock and unlock button. You actually have three different drive modes on this one. You've got uh, the normal drive, you've got a sporty drive where you get a sportier shift, and then you've got a mountain drive which you get more torque when you're going up hills and stuff like that. Um, everything's push button as you want the heater to come on. You've got the Bluetooth telephone, your fan. Everything just touches right on, right on the, uh, the actual panel itself, which makes it kind of cool. Everything in your dash is, is up here and it's, it's kind of a bright light. It's kind of, uh, it's again, more, more modern than what you can see on a normal tachometer and speedometer that you get. You've got Bluetooth compa compatibility. You've got your cruise and everything on thumb control. Uh, the nice part about this vehicle is you, it's quiet. Like right now, this vehicle's running. You can't hear anything. Because it's so quiet when you're driving down the street, it's actually got an alert alarm, which I don't know if you hear that much, but it's three quick beeps on the outside. Because the car is so quiet when it rides, it allows pedestrians to know that you're coming up upon them. Um, when you move up here, your radio and all your heating control is located up here. Uh, again, really, really clear. Um, kind of the green look, which is the energy, energy look. And then as you move up, you've got your lights, you've got your, uh, your speaker and everything else like that when you want to uh, um, use, your, use your phone. And then you've got your typical OnStar stuff that, uh, that uh, GM has. So you've got that capability and then you've got the uh, garage door openers that you can program into here. So again, it's just a, a nice looking design inside and everything's nice and convenient to use. One other thing this vehicle has, it has the backup camera as well. So on top of the backup sensors, the backup camera shows up right in your, right in your screen here. Nice and convenient, gives you security when you're backing up that you know nothing's behind you 
and you're going to run hey, over folks, anything. That's the 2012 Chevy Volt. Uh, if you want to do your part, save the environment uh, by going by going with a hybrid. This would be the opportunity to do it. Uh, this one has 71,000 kilometers on it. Uh, it's got 610 kilometer range for gas and, and, and power, uh, electrical power. So I encourage you maybe give me a call if you're interested. Again, my name's Glenn Schneckenberger here at Tilbury Chrysler. I might not be available when you call, but do me a favor, leave me a voicemail and I'll return your call as soon as I can. Again, 1-800-267-5595 is my number. Email address is glenns at tilburychrysler.com. Thanks and have yourself a great day and thanks for watching my video.